silencers work, except that industrial silencers rely more on damping, which is- Oh no, it's hurting my brain, there's so much- Stop! With this information, please! <laughs> it's too much, I can't take it! Yo guys, what is up this video? I'm reacting to do the Last of Us 2 button silencers actually work, alright? No way in hell do they work, okay? It's a fucking ball you put on- It's, does, it's not gonna work, alright? It's not gonna work! And why they call it silencer? I don't like that. But it's fine. Because, you know, it is what it is. I'm joking. Yeah, uh, my toe from yesterday is uh, a little shocking, but, you know, maybe this video will help me <laughs> soothe the pain. <laughs> so let's just get into the video, alright? Three. Alright. Dear Naughty Dog, hi, it's me. Austin, I really liked The Last of Us 2, which is apparently a controversial thing to say. Which, oh well, I liked it. It's not really relevant to this video at all, but I had to get it off my chest. And it might be an important preface before a video where it might seem like I'm Bro, being it, a it's little It's like One Punch Man, you can't, we've been so amazing, yeah, you can't like make it. It's just, it almost cost me I'm two pieces of fans. After this point, USA. moving forward is gonna change that. With that said, I have to get something off my chest. <clears throat> Soda bottle silencers make no Facts. sense. If you guys uh, disagree, <sighs> get yourself a gun and try it. Feel limber, feel loose, ready yep. to do this. And hey, what is that sound? Is that, is that furious typing? It's expressed <laughs> me. <laughs> you. Someone is down in the comment section, already angry about my. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Silencer to describe these things you put on the tips of firearms in order to make them quieter, instead of the word suppressor. Now look, hey, look at me. Look, chill, at fam. Me. I put Stop. yeah. The Wikipedia article on this device. It is titled. Silencer. The National Firearms Act of 1934 cites silencers muffler. along with, kind of hilariously, mufflers <laughs> in the original patent filed by Hiram Percy Maxim, the son of the guy who invented the Maxim machine gun, also says silencer on it. Stop it! I chew! Stop it with this fake debate that nobody cares about. Silencer, muffler, suppressor, the same thing. terms will be used interchangeably here. I'm sorry. Swear in the video. Chill. You just gotta like, chill over it, bro. Just... It's okay to let it go. Just let go. It doesn't matter. All right then. Anyway, where was I? All right, soda bottle silencers. These are a thing you can craft in The Last of Us 2 and attach to the end of your 9mm pistol in order to render it completely and totally It'd ruin your, silent. your aiming as well because you can't see the thing. Bullets without producing a sound at all. The required materials are plastic bottles and cloth. And you know what? I'm actually going to give Naughty Dog some leeway on this. It would be a bit mean of me to single them of all people out for having a totally and completely unrealistically quiet silencer in their game when they didn't exactly create the trope of silencers <laughs> making bullets make either no noise or that little whistly pew 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 noise from Goldeneye. It would just be like colossally mean to be like, well, what kind, of, what kind of shots do silencers actually make the like? Firearm, therefore, like, gotcha, the last of us two. That, that kind of sound like. That, sincerely, uh, Austin. Because the thing is, silencers, the way they're portrayed in video games and movies and TV shows, too numerous to even begin to start naming here, are themselves complete and total nonsense. And it kind of seems like we like it that way, which yeah. is more fun. A gun that makes zero noise, allowing a super Stealthy secret spy that, you know? to do super secret stuff, or a gun gun that's still very loud and still obviously yeah. a gun that brings everyone <laughs> no nearby that. running to your location to beat you up or arrest you or whatever. Obviously, the first one is more fun, although way less realistic. You see, making a gunshot absolutely silent is frankly impossible unless you're somehow firing it in a vacuum. And that's because the noise comes from not one, not but two, three different things. but actually three separate events. The and in trigger, order to get into why cut. silencing bullets oh, is cut. so difficult and It'll ultimately pick apart these weird what was cool? I don't, cool. I don't have a gun. We really gotta talk about the noise and we have, we have sh a shanks in here, okay, in England, first. right? Or knives. The basic way that a firearm works is not exactly changed all that much since their invention sometime in the 12th century, where it was basically just a metal tube filled with gunpowder with a projectile or shrapnel packed on top of it. You light the gunpowder on fire, it catches really quickly, heating up, rapidly expanding gases very 
fast. These rapidly expanding gases are contained by the tube, which allows pressure to build up very quickly. This pressure has only one yeah. way to escape, and that is out the front end of the tube. So that's where it goes, propelling whatever is in front of it along the way. Fans of my show who actually watched my Doom video about exploding, I didn't watch that. Will Sorry. This description for what it actually is. I keep getting injured in the videos. Firearms use explosions in order to propel projectiles, and this is one of the biggest sources of noise from a gun. If you've ever held a bullet yourself, you might be surprised at how light they are and wonder how something so small can possibly the speed. Be harmful. Even a 22, which for some reason by some people gets treated as though they're not dangerous, are easily fatal in spite of being tiny. No, you also tiny. This by taking advantage. My stomach, because I'm skinny. If I shoot a 2.5 gram 22 out of a gun at 370 meters per second, it'll slap into you with a hundred. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's just small. One two five joules of kinetic energy, all concentrated on this very tiny object, making it more than capable of piercing through your flesh and organs. Causing massive damage on the way through. That is the very basic principle behind all the thing about you pay a finger, you right? Very like small things on like very hard. Very you can be a bullet. And here's our second major That's problem not true. and source of noise the bullet traveling through the air itself. Your average 22 leaves the muzzle of a firearm at 370 meters per second, which is 27 meters per second faster than the speed Jeez. of sound for pretty much every altitude you'll be firing a gun at. And this is a very big problem for silencing bullets because traveling fast the speed sound. of sound creates a ton of yeah. noise in the form of a pressure wave. This is because when an object travels faster than the speed of sound, it compresses the air molecules in front of it, creating a pressure difference between the gas. I do this when I run because I'm so quick. Rest and the gases in front of the object. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not lying. As these gases move out of the way, they expand again, sending powerful ripples through the gas itself, which creates a loud crack sound as the force moves through the air and dissipates as heat energy. This is what's known as a sonic ah. boom, and any object moving you know, faster than the speed of sound will create one. This can be mitigated with subsonic ammunition, but this is actually pretty rare, and even non-supersonic bullets still make sound as they cut through the air, with the trade-off being that the bullets become a lot less effective. Silencers of all varieties can do nothing about this noise, with even low-powered bullets making loud, whip-cracking sounds as they travel forward. The last source of noise from a firearm is pretty minuscule, but it's still worth what mentioning it? regardless, and it's the action from the firearm itself. Clack back, yep. The clack of the hammer hitting the bullet and the slide being thrown back and then forward again back into place by the explosion from the bullet very very quickly all of that is surprisingly noisy even if you ignore everything else it's not super loud but it's come on cool. us to how silencers actually work and you can actually get a lot of insight into how they work if you just cut them open and look at a cross section of them inside the tube of a silencer are all these baffles placed at precise angles these serve three primary so functions one to disrupt expanding gases while still allowing the bullet to travel unimpeded number two redirecting sound waves away from the opening of the yeah, firearm boy. and three helping to shrink the expanding I don't want any of that meant but it means it's silent just gets in the way the gases as they leave the muzzle and redirects them upward into their cavities the second function they serve is really similar to the first but instead of redirecting expanding gases it's actually redirecting sound waves sound waves exiting the muzzle will bounce against the baffling and be redirected into the cavity where they will continue to bounce around losing energy each time it's reflected as heat into the silencer each time it's okay, reflected okay. until ultimately scientific. it completely runs out of energy this is actually really similar to how soundproof paneling and recording studios work the third function i really want those they're they so cool really 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 right here they essentially I'll never see it again heat probably will actually pull heat away I, I probably buy it for no, another three down, years which in turn makes them condense reducing their explosive energy quite significantly some silencers even employ oil or water or some other form of gel to help pull heat away even more effectively that said these baffles pull heat energy away by themselves heating up which is one of the reasons why they can become less effective
effective under sustained fire, and that's essentially it. They reduce the noise from a firearm by basically slapping the gas away from the place it wants to go, out of the gun in this instance, and telling it to literally take a chill pill. This alone can almost entirely negate the noise created from the expanding gases, which is quite a lot. In many cases, it can actually make lower powered firearms quiet enough as to not require hearing protection while firing them at a but range. That's... That said, it does absolutely nothing to the sound from the action of the gun itself, nor does it do anything to impede the sonic boom created by the exactly. bullet traveling through the air once it's out of the gun. Bullets fired from a gun can reach over 180 decibels of noise from one meter away from the source, and silencers can reduce this to under 160 decibels. Sound That's measuring not that decibels much. is actually pretty tricky, as it is a measurement of power that depends upon distance quite a bit, and something that's 160 decibels at one meter away may only be like 80 decibels a football field away, and a 20 decibel decrease of noise is not insignificant. Every three decibels decreased is half as loud or twice as Guess quiet, presser. if you will, as Who the value of And keep making my suppressors and telling me it's no sound. I'm a smart guy, you know. I am so tired. Louder than a gun fired at 160 decibels, but 160 decibels is still very, very loud. 160 decibels is the sound level <laughs> of a live rock concert. It is not subtle. It is louder than the sound of a jet aircraft taking off from over a quarter of a football field field away it is loud and it is unmissable so yeah no, I, I that even that loud video bro. games and tv and movies are to put it my, heard it my house purely a work of that's fiction, loud so i will not be judging these plastic silencers in the last of us by that standard but rather if they can come anywhere close to the effectiveness of industrial made silencers i'm going to consider it a win on their part so, can a plastic water bottle be just as effective as a real silencer? No. Well, it's complicated. How? Let's end the video on the cliffhanger, bro. There are, as far as I'm aware, no official studies on the effectiveness of improvised silencers, and I really, oh, I hate to weigh in on subjects that have almost no scientific research in them. But this is a decent exception because among hunters and firearm enthusiasts, this is one of those things that's kind of like, uh, like folk knowledge passed from one person to another by word of mouth. How would it even work though? Like, would, tradition, like is it basket the, weaving the cloth, or that's folk what the, tales? And that's what you know, like the other guy. Empirical evidence you know, of their effectiveness so is. How I'm not, I need to figure out. Got to show myself. And demonstrations that are out there, and because of that, I can make some pretty educated assumptions. Survival guides written by a mix of ex-military members, totally normal outdoor survivalists, and doomsday preppers all basically agree that improvised silencers require two things: plastic soda bottles and some form of baffling, whether it's newspapers or old rags or T-shirts, something that will diffuse the shock waves from the exploding gases by absorbing the energy from the sound waves and dissipating them as heat. This is actually really similar to how industrial silencers work, except that industrial silencers rely more on damping, which is- Oh no, it's hurting my brain, there's someone- Stop with this information, please. <coughs> it's too much, I can't take it. Absorption, which is pretty similar, Stop. but it relies so more mean. on soft fibers that actually bend and move on a molecular level more, kind of like slowing a runaway shopping cart by getting in front of it and slowing it down. Yeah, stop with your dick. Yeah, I mean, sound waves <laughs> no, no, your hands. Just stop with your dick. Way. The use of rags and bottles Today. in game confirms that this is the method used by the game, and that's how they're supposed to work, but do they actually nope. work? Well, nope. that's tricky. It's really nope. hard to say, to be entirely honest, because technically, the best way to figure it out would be for me to test it myself, but aside from not even having a FOID card, silencers are 100% super duper illegal in my state, which is Illinois, and even in Texas, Texas, where my editor and her gun-loving husband, dang old dadgum, has to wait up to nine dadgum months and pay over dang old $200 to Uncle Sam to register a goddamn <laughs> plastic silencer, I tell Texas you Texas has, like, the, like the, the leanest gun loader, sir. So, instead, I watch pretty much every video under the sun testing plastic bottle silencers and I have arrived at a conclusion with a few caveats. Plastic bottle silencers, if properly made on low powered firearms, work just as well as manufactured silencers at silencing guns. Especially if you're like this crazy guy who actually constructed plastic baffling to mimic how industrial silencers are actually constructed. They can reduce the explosion noise yeah. from expanding gases if properly sealed with tape against the barrel and have adequate baffling to about the same level as industry silencers. However, the rounds have to be low yeah. powered, and I mean that most of them really struggle even with 9mm rounds. Second of all, well, they only get one. One shot. One, and I mean this, 
one Cause they just blast off. off. Period. Not a couple, not Maybe three, four? Not five. Huh. One, because expanding gases and the bullet itself will absolutely and utterly obliterate the bomb. Jesus. Period. What's more, the bottle has to be quite big, and the silencers we see in Last big. Part Two are yeah. minuscule. For a nine millimeter, you need at least a liter, probably a liter and a half of a bottle sticking out on the other end. But this like tiny, ML. tiny little <laughs> bottle-looking thing looks like it's like half a liter tops. But that being said, can't see my tongue the right handcrafted now. silencer, when compared to other video games, is surprisingly plausible. I mean, if we give them wiggle room for being way hardier than they'd actually be, and ignore the fact that no silencer Silencers work the way they're portrayed in fiction. I have to say this is actually one of I the mean, more legitimate. It's close to reality, but not how the game shows it. Because a hell of a lot better than whatever the heck The Walking Dead did. But is that a flashlight <laughs> taping? A flashlight to the end of your the firearm will accomplish nothing, Rick. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your life together. Sincerely, Austin. What? Well then. See, not only will it not work in the game, technically, it wouldn't even work, it doesn't work in real life. Okay, it would not, it would not work in real life. I knew from the beginning anyway, because, you know, you, you put a fucking plastic ball in front of it and boom, it's silent. No, it's not. I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't know, though, that silences didn't make the gun silent, because I've just been raised up with these games, you know, me like, pew, 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 and the guy, the, the enemy, the other enemy, just like, oblivious, because you can't nine. I didn't know that actually made sound. I thought they would just make, like, like a little, they got, they got sound, you know, they go, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.